Hey folks, it's Andrew from Gumbarad, and today we are making and testing a DIY bright light therapy device. So it's not much of a DIY, it's just setting up a simple desk lamp. So you can get any desk lamp like this one, I got one from Amazon for cheap. And then we've got some choice for bulbs, we can use Philips Ultra Definition, they're high CRI, they're low flicker, they're nice and bright. And you can choose the warmer, the 2700 Kelvin, the soft white here on the left, that's a little bit more gentle on the eyes because it's got lower blue, it's a little bit more of that uh, amber kind of color. Or you can choose the daylight version that's 5000 Kelvin, so it's got a lot more blue, it's that more sanitary, very bright kind of white. So traditionally with bright light therapies they tend to use the higher Kelvins, the 4000s, the 5000s, even 6000s. but then the trade-off is it's got a lot more blue light in it. Is it worth the rest to your eye? So I would generally prefer the 2700 Kelvin and just try to, you know, go brighter and not with more blue light. And that's it. We just screw in a light bulb. And the added bonus is that we use this little diffuser that they use in photography and that goes over the lamp. So that's a nice diffuser. It's going to make it a lot more comfortable for the eye. It's going to scatter the light. So it's going to reduce the glare dramatically. So you can enjoy your bright light therapy a lot more comfortably. You can see most of the branded bright light therapy devices have some sort of diffuser. They kind of have that hazy plastic uh, layer in front of it and that helps diffuse the light and makes it more comfortable for the eyes. Okay, so let's check out the performance. Right now we've got the 2700 Kelvin bulb in. So at three inches away we get 13.6 thousand lux. So that's really good. You know, the kind of gold standard is 10,000 lux, but 10,000 lux is actually uncomfortably bright. There's a lot of newer studies that are using anywhere between 2,000, 3,000, 5,000 lux and still getting that bright light therapy benefit. So I think that 10,000 lux is a bit overkill. It'd be uncomfortably bright and you'd have to be pretty close to the lamp to get that anyway. So at six inches away, it drops down to 4,700 lux. So about 5,000 lux. So I think six inches away would be a really good point for getting that bright light therapy. Now we're nine inches away, we're down to 2,300 lux. So still a really good number, so probably between six to nine inches away is going to be that therapeutic range for bright light therapy. And again, you really only need to do it, you know, anywhere between 10 to 30 minutes in the mornings, up to about an hour if you're further away. So even at 12 inches away, we're still over a thousand lux. So that's really good. Remember a lot of indoor spaces, like an office, the lighting is only 300 to 500 lux. So this is still a lot brighter than that typical indoor lighting. So sometimes you can pop this on over 12 inches away, get some little, little extra brightness during the day, give you a little bit of boost of mood. So again, this is the 2700 Kelvin bulb and the R value is 96.4, which is very good because it's out of a hundred. Okay, now the same thing with the 5000 Kelvin light. Just look at how much more white it is, how much almost it's got that blue or hue to it. It's very sterile. So at three inches away, we get 16,000 lux. We see that big peak of blue and that's what's contributing that it's got more kind of brightness compared to the 2700 Kelvin. Six inches away, we're over 5,000 Kelvin, so really good, uh, great spot to be in for bright light therapy. If you really want that boost of alertness and wakefulness in the mornings, then you just blast yourself with this for 10 to 20 minutes. So nine inches away, we're at 2,300 lux, almost 2,400. So you got a good range between six to 10 inches away to get that therapeutic bright light therapy and do it for about, you know, 10 to 30 minutes in the mornings. So even at 12 inches away, we're still over a thousand lux. So again, you could keep these lights on further away just to have a little bit extra brightness in the room. It might boost your mood just in a more subtle way. Uh, that might be a good technique as well. And so that's it for the DIY bright light therapy guide. Just get a high quality bulb, a desk lamp, and a diffuser, and you're good to go. Use them between six or even 12 inches away for 10 to 30 minutes in the mornings, and that should give you that boost to your circadian rhythm, your energy, your alertness, and hopefully it'll help sync your circadian rhythm so you sleep better at night, or you can use it intermittently throughout the day at longer distances away. And I generally prefer the one on the left, the 2700 Kelvin. It's much easier on the eyes. 
but I can't deny that the one on the right, the 5000 Kelvin, is a lot more stimulating even while I was testing it, but again that can become a double-edged sword of too much stimulation or too much blue light. And these bulbs are going to be a lot better than a lot of the generic bright light therapy devices that claim to be full spectrum or they claim to have some fancy spectrum, so at least with the Philips Ultra definition we know they're high CRI and they're low flicker, so in many ways the DIY is better than the name brand bright light therapy devices. And so so that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Hope that helped.